kumano. Inna alhamdulillah. Hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fi kama yuhibbu rabbuna wa yarda. Wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam tasliman kathira. On the authority of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As radiyallahu ta'ala anhum qala an Abi Bakr as-Siddiq radiyallahu ta'ala anhum annahu qala lin-nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam allimni du'a ad'u bihi fi salati فقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قل اللهم إني ظلمت نفسي ظلما كثيرا ولا يغفر ذنوب إلا أنت فاغفر لي مغفرة من عندك ورحمني إنك على إنك أنت الغفور الرحيم أبو بكر رضي الله تعالى عنه he came to the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said oh messenger of Allah teach me a dua that I can make in my prayer and the Prophet wasallam said, Say, O Abu Bakr, O Allah, indeed I have harmed or wronged myself by continuously committing sin, and none forgive sin except you. So forgive me and have mercy upon me, for indeed you are all forgiving, most merciful. The Prophet wasallam taught Abu Bakr this dua out of all of the other things that he could have given to Abu Bakr. The scholars say that the reason that he taught him this dua in specific, as Abu Bakr was the best of this ummah after the Prophet wasallam, so why was he instructing Abu Bakr to seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness and to say that I have harmed or wronged myself when this is the greatest or the best of the ummah after the Prophet wasallam, to teach him humility. He was teaching him and preparing him to be a leader. And in order for one to be a leader, he has to acknowledge that he also has mistakes, has flaws, has mistakes, has weaknesses, just like everyone else. That's the first step in being a leader, is to acknowledge that you sin, you fall victim to the same things that you other people fall victim to. And just because you're in a position of leadership doesn't make you better than other people in the sense that you do not commit sins that they, they commit. You'll find some imams or khatibs when they speak in the Jumu'ah khutbah, They'll speak in terms of you and I, as opposed to we. We do this. We need to do better. It's always, you guys need to do this. You need to do that. And when people feel that you are talking condescendingly towards them, they feel like you think that you're better than them. And this is not the case. So you find that the Prophet wasallam was teaching Abu Bakr to humble himself. Allahumma inni zalamtu dhulman, zalamtu nafsi dhulman kathira. Oh Allah, I have oppressed myself. I have oppressed myself. And it also shows us that sin is an oppression towards oneself. That when you sin, you are only harming yourself. And that none forgive sins except Allah. And that as Muslims, we understand that nothing and no one can forgive you of your sins except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Unlike other faiths where they may go to their preachers and their teachers and their leaders to absolve them of the sins that they commit, no one absolves us of our sins except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. None forgive sins. لا يغفر ذنوب إلا أنت. None forgive sins except you. Which is why we are taught not to expose our sins to other people but to go directly to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the individual came in the masjid and he said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah, inni qad zinayt. I committed zina. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him, Irji' fastaghfiru wa tubi ila Allah yatubu alayk. Go back and seek Allah's forgiveness. Turn to him in repentance and Allah will turn to you in repentance. Keep that between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he did the same thing with the woman who came and said that she committed zina. That is between you and your Lord. You exposing that to me is not going to benefit you. The only place that, the only one that can benefit you is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To keep your sins between you and Allah. That none forgive sins except you. Forgive me. Maghfiratin. Forgive me with the type of forgiveness that only you can give. Forgive me with the type of forgiveness only you can give. Indeed, you are ghafuru rahim. Ghafuru rahim. You're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his forgiveness. 
And then you praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his two qualities and that is Ghafoor Rahim being all forgiving most merciful and that when we call on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we call on him by his names that are commensurate with the things that we are calling on him for. So if you're asking Allah to bless you in your wealth then you call on him by his name Ar Razak, the provider. If you're calling on Allah asking him for children then you call on him by his name by which he grants things to people Al Wahhab, Ya Wahhab, Ya Razak. Ya Kareem, if you ask him for Allah's generosity and to be merciful to you, you call on Allah by his name, Ar Rahim, Ar Rahman, Al Kareem. You call on him by those names that are commensurate, that are muwafiq, that are connected to the thing that you are asking for. And this is the proper way of making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he said, Teach me a dua that I can make in my salah. So now the scholars explain where's this type of dua? Dua, this dua and other dua that are like it, where are these duas made? They're not made in Qiyam, they're not made in Ruku'ah. The only place that we can make this dua is either in Sujood or right before you make the Taslim. After you make the first Tashahud, Tahiyatu Lillahi wa Salawatu wa Tayyibat to the end, and then the second Tashahud, um, Allahumma Salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad. كَمَا صَلَّيْتَ عَلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمُ وَعَلَىٰ آلِ إِبْرَاهِيمُ فِي الْعَالَمِينَ إِنَّكَ حَمِيدٌ مَجِيدٌ To the end of that, once you finish making that dua, once you finish making the tashahud, and it's not tashahud, it's tashahud, then you can make whatever dua you want to make, before you make the taslim. So it's after the tashahud, right before you make the taslim, in that period of your prayer, you can make whatever dua you want to make. And if it's an obligatory prayer, then the dua should be in Arabic. Because in the obligatory prayer, there are certain rules and certain guidelines that have to be followed more strictly than the rules apply or the guidelines apply to the nawafin. If it is a supererogatory prayer, a voluntary prayer, then you can make the dua in English. There's no fault, no sin on the individual if they have to make it in English or any other language. But in the obligatory prayer, all of the supplications, including the prayer itself, should be in Arabic. This is one of the conditions of the prayer, inshallah ta'ala. So this dua can be made either in sujood or it can be made in between the last of shahud and right before you make the taslim and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala a'lam. I'll mention the dua again and we should memorize this dua as this is a dua that the Prophet sallallahu taught Abu Bakr specifically and this is a dua that we can make for ourselves. Allahumma inni zalamtu nafsi dhulman kathira wa la yaghfiru dhunuba illa anta فَاغْفِرْ لِي مَغْفِرَةً مِنْ عِنْدِكَ وَرْحَمْنِي إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ وصلى الله على النبي محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته